I take a look at this now. Just hordes of sea lions jumping into the water as that 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake hit the coast of Russia. Look at that. They're swimming for their lives. A sea tour group was passing by, but they only felt some slight vibrations. Again, they were off the coast there in the water, but Wednesday's earthquake was one of the strongest ever recorded. Look at that. 8.8. .8. Several people were injured, but none seriously, and no major damage has been reported. It triggered tsunami waves with the threat extending all the way to Hawaii and the U.S. West Coast. And meteorologist John Dawson was is in Hawaii right now, and you can check his social media out for that, but I was so surprised when he started posting about that. Yeah, that's crazy. I guess he was there and having to deal with maybe the mass evacuation going yeah, on. Yeah, the tsunami yep. warning. And he's telling yeah, us about it. Yeah, the tsunami it. warning for the Hawaiian Islands. I mean, people just jumped on the highway. They said it was taking like four hours just to go one uh, mile. Scary stuff, man. Scary, scary crazy. Stuff. Yeah, not a good scenario. It was a mess. But I want to talk about what happened yesterday. Of course, we had a massive earthquake off the coast of Russia, 8.8 .8 magnitude, and it happened right where the Pacific plate kind of meets up with the North American plate. And these are tectonic plates. And when they start to shift and kind of rub up against each other, they release a lot of energy and they release seismic waves and that makes the ground shake rattle and roll and that leads to those sometimes giant earthquakes. So this happened right along that ring of fire. This is a super active earthquake zone responsible for about 81% of the world's largest earthquakes and you can see the Russia area where that earthquake happened yesterday right in that ring of fire. So it was a super scary scenario and hey, the good news is that we didn't get a worst case scenario massive wave coming at the west coast of the U.S. or Hawaii. I think there were some smaller waves and a smaller tsunami reported, but nothing that was catastrophic. Thank goodness.